Hello, we just got back from seeing My Little Pony the movie. Say hi to the people. Howdy. That's Cactus Chris, who assists me in videos. And I'm M. Page, also known as Mr. Neon Mount Channel. And today we're going to talk about the experience we just went through while spoiling as few things as possible. Hopefully none, so I can actually get this video on the Equestrian Empire page or whatever they call their G Plus page. Let's start with initial impressions. I sat down and I saw the trailers and I thought the trailers were the most interesting part. And then like, like okay, the movie, if the trailers are this interesting, the movie must be overcompensating. You know what I mean? I actually tried to stay unswayed one one direction or, or the other. Oh, uh, <laughs> one direction. <laughs> Maybe you light up my world like no ponies. <laughs> <laughs> Let's mainly talk about like certain elements of it while not giving away too many specifics. Let's start with the soundtrack. It's got a lot of music, a lot of good music, a lot of orchestral scores. And the songs convey what they want to convey and they spread the message they want to spread, and they fit the characters singing them quite well. That is true. I did enjoy the soundtrack very, very, very thoroughly. I thought it, it crossed and blended genres really well. It conveyed the message it was meant to convey. The soundtrack was excellent, and when, it, when the soundtrack is made for the movie, I highly recommend buying it. Yeah, it'll probably be on sale at an FYE somewhere. Anyway, now the visual style. We all know that the whole thing was animated in Toon Boom and not Flash. But for a movie, I can accept that. Like, Toon Boom was made for those epics, theatricals and stuff. Like, it's made to be big and spectacular and wondrous, and it does its job. And all the character models looked on point, there was no, there were no screw-ups as far as I could see. Me either, and the visual effects were just made all the more stunning with the new animation uh, style. I especially like the way the unicorn's magic works now, or looks now, I should say. Yeah, you have to see the movie to figure that crap out. Mm. Now on to the way the the flow of the movie. Like every movie should have a beginning, middle, and the end, and they all like connect in such a flowing and cohesive way. I feel like it does have that flow, but the flow feels kind of fast. Like they cram so many things in that some things don't even have time to fully register in my mind for me. But that's probably just because I have Asperger's. And I felt for 90 minutes the whole movie was too fast. I, I do agree that at points it was too fast. There are certain areas that could have clarified on a little bit more. But I don't want to spoil any of the events in the movie, so I'll just leave it at that. It did move a little fast for to be a, a good pace. But then again, we do have some sort of mental difficulty, so um, that could just be us. Um, the story, like, it tells a great story, but we were a little disappointed in, like, certain elements weren't touched on, like, like Star Wars wasn't in it at all, but I guess they saved that for a season 7 finale. Oh. Mm. But, yeah, yeah. the direction it did take was kind of, was kind of good, I guess. They went with something new. Yeah. And I can appreciate that. Yeah, I, I don't really see why they would have put Star Swirl in this movie, though, considering that nobody really knows who he is or what he looks like yet. It seems like something that everyone would expect, though. Big epic movie, big epic character buildup, big epic payoff. You would think, but it's better to stick with the characters we all know and love for now and add in a couple extras as filler. Some of the new ones especially were very entertaining and light-hearted. Others, not so much. I mean, the thing is, when the movies, I expect them to do things that they never did in the TV show. But, I was wrong because... <laughs> but, it's good for what it is. 
I don't really have any complaints as far as that was, because the, the focus of the whole movie was supposed to be on the main six, and not really the background characters or the population of Equestria as a whole. I mean, it's a big epic movie, you move from a 22 minute form of medium to a 90 minute form of medium, you expect there to answer some questions that people have, but no, they just make new questions and then answer themselves, like I do in my reading your comments videos. Because no one ever leaves comments. But, again, like, this was probably because it was My Little Pony THE movie, not My Little Pony A movie. So, obviously it's going to be THE movie that stands out from everything else. Which is why there will never be a sequel. Never. Never. I I uh, wouldn't really count on that. <laughs> huh? If I know the Brony fandom, they will demand a sequel to this movie and the events of one of the villains. I'm not going to say whether they're the main villain or not, but they'll want to see what happens afterward. You just spoiled a name, I think. Like, for all we know, could have been like an anti-hero or something. But no, you spoiled it. I think I believed it. Ah, the question is though. Or is it? Yeah, nice try. That was kind of stupid. About as pointless as. Damn it! <laughs> that was spoiling the movie. I bleeped it. Shut up. Let's just move on to final overall scores before this thing becomes a unibrow. Um. So we're each gonna give our rating out of 10. Um, for me, um, with the epic soundtrack, the story flow, the, the new story they told, and pretty much the way they incorporated all these elements into something great. Like, it, it's not something that bronies would enjoy, but it doesn't have to be, because it's My Little Pony. All that matters is would little girls enjoy it? I think they would, and would the parents get bored? I'd say they would not. And for those reasons, I give it a 9. I agree with those uh, viewpoints, but because of the pace of the movie, I give it an 8.5. Which means the Neo Team overall score for this movie is 8 and 3 quarters. Go see it for yourself and see if it's something you enjoy. But you don't have to take our word for it. We're just some mentally handicapped people in a car. What do we know? <laughs> <laughs>